Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about the Los Angeles Clippers secured a 126-111 win in a decisive Game 7 over the Dallas Mavericks on Sunday at Staples Center. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Sports Pulse, with no Lakers or LeBron the Western Conference semi-finals is wide open. Our very own Mark Medina breaks down the final four in the West. USA TODAYL Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Clippers secured a 126-111 win in a decisive Game 7 against the Dallas Mavericks on Sunday afternoon at Staples Center by doing so, they avoided, at least for now, a second consecutive short postseason run for stars Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. The Clippers will face the top-seeded Utah Jazz in the Western Conference semi-finals beginning on Tuesday. Less than a year ago, the Clippers had squandered a 3-1 second-round series lead to the Denver Nuggets. The home team won a game for the first time in the first-round series. Here are key takeaways from the game, Los Angeles Clippers guard Terrence Mann, 14, and forward Kawhi Leonard, 2, celebrate a shot during the fourth quarter of Game 7 against the Dallas Mavericks. Photo, Ashley Landis, App, once again, Mavericks star Luka Doncic showed his brilliance with dramatic shots, a strong pain threshold and the ability to carry his team on almost every possession. Though Doncic finished with 46 points while shooting 17 for 30 from the field and 5 for 11 from three-point range, the Clippers counteracted that with depth. Along with Leonard, 28 points, and George, 22, the Clippers received contributions from Marcus Morris Sr., 23, Reggie Jackson, 15, Terrence Mann, 13, Nicholas Batum, 11, and Luke Kennard, 11. Mavericks forward Chris Dapps Porzingis contributed 16 with some easy baskets, but he went 0 for 5 from deep. Tim Hardaway Jr. nursed a right ankle injury most of the game, and shot only 5 for 14 overall and 1 for 9 from 3. Doncic did not have as much help as Leonard and George received, but that did not stop him from playing his game. He dominated almost every time he had the ball. But the Mavericks' lack of supporting cast proved the difference. Though the Mavericks had more second-chance points, 23-12, the Clippers had a huge advantage in bench scoring, 27-6. The Clippers have professed they are a different team from last year's championship contention squad that underachieved with a second-round exit. They parted ways with Doc Rivers and promoted Ty Lu to head coach, in hopes that a new voice and new X's and O's would lead to better accountability. They made varying tweaks with their supporting cast and they held out hope that Leonard and George would play more to their potential. Still, the Clippers have had varying degrees of inconsistency. So there was always a possibility the Clippers could blow this one after digging themselves out of in 0-2 deficit. But to the Clippers' credit, they avoided that in the first round.